everybody welcome to fame world educational hub myself ashwarya saxena and in this python programming series i am going to talk about the python with my sql database connectivity two videos related to the database connectivity i have already uploaded if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe it and hit the notification bell because after pressing the notification bell you will start getting the notifications of my latest uploads Today I am going to tell that how you can work with the Python with MySQL database connectivity. So we will be starting the first program, the first practical implementation. The IDE I am using PyCharm. You can use any IDE. You are free to use any IDE. I have already told the installation process and all of Python into this playlist, so you can check it. Here I am going to create a new folder on the desktop I am creating, and I am writing here Python. mysql so this i have created and here i will be saving all the files so this folder i am using i am just copying this path and i am going to open it into my pycharm so open and this folder we are having i am okay i am pressing okay and just opening it so here you can see this folder is opened here and it is not having any files till now because we have not yet created any when you are working on this uh, mysql and all so very important thing is to understand that uh, you are not going to get the output on the terminal like your outputs are not going to be present on the terminal it will be present on the mysql i will show these things also so first of all i am just uh, creating a new file here let's say here uh, pro1 and uh, here i am just going to import the mysql connector but as i will import the mysql connector it will not work because we have not installed it import mysql dot connector so it is showing it okay very good but i have not installed it till now so i will uh, simply install it in this video stay tuned and here i am taking mysql dot connector dot connect then inside this connect you have to give the local host and all so here i am just uh, taking the variable my db and uh, i am taking here the host equals to local host that is a by default host then the user is root by default i have not changed anything and the password i have not taken any so it's nothing it's empty okay then here i am just going to print the connection id so i am taking here my db dot connection id okay great if i run this program so let's see what's going to happen here you can see no module named mysql or the mysql connector is not present and that is absolutely correct because as i told you we have not yet installed the mysql connector today's video's agenda is to install it so what you have to do to install the mysql connector just come towards the folder which you have created to save your files here the mysql uh, this python mysql folder i have created to save the files you can see the pro one which we have created right away that is also present here just come towards this address bar and type cmd to locate the same folder in the command prompt while typing the cmd here you will be able to locate the same folder in the command prompt you can see this is the command prompt opened now here what you have to do you have to use the command pip install mysql hyphen connector pip stands for python package installer and mysql connector we need so with the help of the python package installer inside this location inside this folder we are installing the mysql connector press enter and uh, over the internet obviously the internet connectivity is required because it will be installed over the internet so you can see collecting mysql connector and now it has been installed into my system you can see it's written successfully installed so now the connector is present cls for the clear screen and i'm just minimizing this right now and i'm saving it once again and i'm just going to run it this time so you can see it is printing the connection id that means our connection has been established properly so this way you can just install the mysql connector into your system
I hope this much is clear. In case you have any doubt, any query, so you can just ask in the comment section. I will be definitely helping you out. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell because after pressing the notification, you will be starting the notifications of my latest uploads. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.